Good morning. It is 6.08 a.m. on Tuesday, February 20th, 2018. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. Uh, boy, I tell you, uh, ups and downs. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, Luna got seen at the vet yesterday and um, got some preliminary antibiotics uh, for possible urinary infection and so hopefully that is what it is and so the antibiotics will help although it's possible she'll need a different set of antibiotics like if this is the same infection she had before that we didn't fully knock out with the original course of antibiotics then it's possible it would be resistant to the same antibiotics and we'll have to wait for the culture to try a different one. Um, so we'll we'll have to wait and see there if she's going to be feeling uh, better quickly or if it might take a few more days um, then of course there is you know always the possibility that I you know hope isn't the case that this is not a urinary infection but in fact the return of her cancer uh, hopefully that's not it so because she seems like she's been doing well otherwise um, moving around pretty good we took a little bit of a longer walk yesterday not not as long as before, but you know, uh, poking around, uh, going back down by the, the river path. Um, although this morning, dogs can be weird with food, right? Um, we have these uh, pill pockets that I've been using uh, to give her medicine uh, for a while, and they've been great. It's very consistent. She always just eats them right away. Um, but then one of her pills, I think, tastes especially bad. And I realized that I didn't squish the pill pocket fully closed. And I think she got the tiniest taste of that pill. And now I would not be surprised if she will never eat that kind of pill pocket again. Still got her to take her medicine today with cheese. But it's, cheese is less convenient. And, uh, uh, you know, it's harder to kind of squish it all around together. And I'm paranoid now that if I... If the uh, if the cheese doesn't uh, stick together and she I, if I ruin the cheese oh no I'll have I'll have no way to make her take her medicine without uh, really awkward struggles um, but yeah she actually has a little bit of a reduced appetite right now I think because of discomfort from the in infection and I don't know if you hear it but she's actually whining at me right now. Um, but yeah, so she's, you know, she's only, you know, 24 hours in on the antibiotics. And so at the very least, it'll probably take a couple of days before that feels better. Now, on the other hand, on the upside, um, uh, when I got her home from the vet appointment, I was all set to head into work, um, even though it was, you know, technically a holiday, but just because there was testing that needed to happen. Uh, but I was glad I checked my email because it turned out that that testing got canceled. So... Um, I'm glad I checked my email and saw that before I drove all the way into work. So I had yesterday off after all. So that was nice. Look, Luna, I gave you... I, mm. she, she's whining at me like she's hungry, but she has a full food bowl right now. Uh, it, she'll eat it eventually. That's been her pattern is that she's just... She, it's like she thinks... Because I gave her a little bit of cheese, maybe she just thinks she can get more. Mm -hmm. I think that's part of what's going on there. But I'm a little bit anxious just because uh, for her to not be feeling good, you know, before my trip gives me anxiety, you know, because uh, uh, having her, st you know, stay at the kennel when she's maybe not feeling good doesn't make me feel good. But um, hopefully, hopefully with the antibiotics, she'll be feeling better uh, by the time she's there. So fingers crossed. Um, I posted a short video yesterday, just a little 30 second thing last night of me playing around with a, a new virtual, uh, virtual reality program called Mind Show. It basically just has a bunch of sort of digital cartoony puppets that you can kind of have them, you know, you can sort of act out a little performance with them and put them in a setting and, sh and make little movies with it. And I made just like a very, very bare bones one. It's just like one character in one setting 
<clears throat> talking for a little bit, but just as a trial thing. And uh, I don't know, it's pretty cool. So I might play around with that some more. Although, as I joked when I posted it, um, like I need another medium to spend time on, right? Anyway, uh, I've got to go ahead and get ready for work because I am going in today. So I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.